Welcome to Work Smarter TV. I am Maarten and in this video I will show you how to use the various count functions in Microsoft Excel. We have here uh, uh, our data sheet from the European Union countries uh, with population figures from 2001 in the first column to 2012. And as you can see here I've deleted a few cells and, and input here unknown and false data and and let's view the a few hashtags here um, just to make it a bit more interesting now the first function is count always as always you can type it or you can also use it by uh, insert it by clicking this button now we select the range b5 to b42 and we hit enter excel says hey the formula in the shell refers to a range that has additional numbers adjacent to it. That's right, that's the, the year numbers are above the data, but we don't want to include them. But thank you for warning us anyway. And as you can see, there's, it says it's 38 here, 32, 37, 35, which differs because of the, um, the funny stuff we did with the data. Now, the second one is count blank. As you can guess, this counts the number of cells in the range that are blank, which is zero in the first one. And if we copy, paste this one, you can see that there's five here, there's one here, there's two here, there's zero here. As you can see, five, one, two, three, four, and there's one more here. Uh, note that this one obviously isn't counted as a blank one. Now we also have count A. And you can see already here that you get a tool tip. That's how these things are called. It says, uh, this formula counts the number of cells in a range that are not empty. You can even move these around if, you, if they're in your way. This can be pretty handy. All right, so we say select this one and count the number of cells that are not empty at 38. Well, that's since there are 38 cells here and there were zero count blank, it all makes sense. Now we copy this one as well. And this is where it gets interesting because you can see there's a difference now between the regular count. You can see this is the regular count function and uh, count A. That's because the count function, if we look at here, it looks for the number of cells in a range that contain numbers. And uh, sorry, here we are. And the count A says it contains the number in the cells that are not empty. Now, obviously, this cell isn't empty, but it isn't a number either. So that's the difference between the count and the count A function. Uh, and the last function we'll show briefly, but then we have a I have a, uh, an entire video uh, dedicated on this one is to count if the range and we can say uh, make it bigger than a million and if you do this be sure to include brackets in the formula now this says 32 all right the, these are the basically the four most commonly used count functions in Excel. Uh, count, count blank, count A, which counts anything in uh, uh, in a cell, while count only counts numbers, and the count if. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video. And if you want to receive email updates and tips and tricks out on how to use Excel in a smarter way, you can click on the button, button in the bottom right corner. This will, this will take you to my website, worksmarter.tv, where you can subscribe to my email list. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.